Hey, Pokebox 5 subscribers, Antar here, and I am back with a new black and white battle. Um, my opponent today is Morge Georgian. Um, there's a link to his channel in the description. Uh, he is by far the nicest person I have ever battled on Quid Zat. Um, yeah, uh, got this battle through Quid Zat. Just it's a pretty uh, quick place to. Or a pretty easy place to go if you just want a quick battle. Anyway, he leads off with Staraptor. I lead off with my Jufro. Um, my Whimsicott. Gonna pull back with Jufro at this point, predicting either a U-turn or a Brave Bird. Um, and indeed, he used the Brave Bird. Jirachi is going to resist that, so that's going to be awesome sauce. Yeah, it doesn't do too much. Doesn't does, a, does a bit though. I mean, I'm impressed. I mean, it is. It's probably a reckless Staraptor, which would make sense. Um, yeah, Jirachi gets a little bit of leftovers recovery, and Staraptor is withdrawn. Um, big surprise, and, and he goes into Ferrothorn. Um, so I was predicting the switch, um, and I went for the Calm Mind. Was not predicting the switch into Ferrothorn, so now I'm going to have to switch out because uh, really can't do anything to Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn resists both Doom Desire and Psy Shock, and just neither would really do that much. So Jirachi's going to get called back, and that's okay. Um, I go ahead and send out my Tachikoma, my uh, Rotom um, Heat Form, figuring you know I, I figured he was going to set up uh, some kind of entry hazards. Uh, and I was hoping just to prevent him from setting up more. Um, instead, he went for the Gyro Ball and now the Protect to scout out whatever I'm going to do. Um, and I go for the Overheat here. I am uh, sc I am Spexed, so uh, I can't do anything else at this point. Um, but I figured that was safe because even if he switched, uh, no one on his team besides maybe Hydreigon resists it. So I figured it was a pretty safe move. Um, he decides to send out his Gliscor, which is kind of interesting because Gliscor doesn't have the best of special defense, um, and maybe he didn't realize that I was Spexed, um, and maybe he thought I would switch or something, but a Spexed um, Overheat is definitely enough to take out um, that uh, Gliscor, so that's pretty awesome. Now he sends out his Hydreigon. Um, and I am a plus, uh, I am a minus two now, so I'm gonna have to switch. And I go ahead and switch into my Jufro, my Whimsicott. Um, and Hydreigon goes for the Dark Pulse. Yeah, this guy uh, had me fearing me. I wasn't exactly sure what I would do against it. I guess Jirachi could take it for the most part. But um, I had this cunning strategy here. Um, I go ahead and I, as long as he wasn't scarfed, the strategy should have worked. And indeed, he wasn't scarfed, and I was faster. So he got me down to my sash, and I managed to get off an endeavor, getting him down to one HP, so that I can send out any number of my revenge killers who have. Um, priority moves to take out this Hydreigon, and of course if he switches I'll just deal with him later. I have plenty of Pokemon with no priority moves on this team. So I go ahead and send out Puff, my Magic Dragonite, um, go for the extreme speed. I uh, don't know whether he was expecting that, um, but in any case I do manage to take him out, uh, so that is awesome. Uh, and Puff is still at full HP, so when he sends out his Magnezone, I still have my multi-scale intact and I'm able to go for the very safe Dragon Dance. Uh, yeah, so uh, Dragonite here you know, doesn't even fear Paralysis um, because it's got the Lumberry, so at least on the first turn I'm okay. Um, Magnezone goes for the Thunderbolt, and um, we've been swapping PMs back and forth, uh, and I kind of asked him, okay, wait, did you say you had an Air Balloon? I totally wasn't paying attention. And he, he graciously told me he didn't have an Air Balloon so I could Earthquake away. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of funny. Um, he, again, this guy was a really good sport. Um, you know, easily the nicest person I've ever battled uh, on any Zat, Quid, or otherwise. Anyway, I go for the Earthquake, and I'm hoping that at plus one I can do a decent chunk to Ferrothorn. Um, really not so much, though. Uh, he goes ahead and goes for the Leech Seed, uh, and um, I decide I'm going to go ahead and go for the Dragon Dance, because I'll, and yes, I know that he carries a Gyro Ball, and I know that's just going to do more damage if I, um, if I speed up. But I'm thinking that I really want to get a good chunk of damage done against this Ferrothorn, um, and so uh, I should be able to take one Gyro Ball, even if I boost my speed uh, to plus two. Um, so we're, I'm about to find out. Here comes the Gyro Ball, and um, boom, that hits me really hard, uh, but I survive with 90 HP, so I'm like, okay, sweet, this is going well, this is going well. Um, He's gonna get some. He's gonna actually get recovered back to full health with that leech seed. Um, but I've basically been leaving him puff for fodder at this point. Um, and this is what I don't predict. I didn't predict that he was gonna go for the protect. I have no idea why. It was completely obvious in retrospect. 
And that Protect is going to be enough to stall me out and uh, kill me. So Puff is down. Uh, that was really a stupid move on my part. Um, but oh well. At least now I get a free switch into my Rotom uh, oven form, and I'm going to be able to go ahead and go for the overheat. If he switched into someone else, no one else is going to enjoy getting an overheat to the face either. So here comes the overheat. I'm really glad it didn't miss, but even if it had, not much he could have done against me. Um, and it was easily enough to take him out. Um, yeah, I was a little bit. I was very glad that he didn't go for the protect for the protect hacks, but it's not like it would have mattered anyway. I have enough PP that it wouldn't have been an issue. Now he goes ahead and sends out his Gengar, which I figure I'm gonna go ahead and call Tachikoma back. Cut Tachikoma is not actually a ghost type, so it doesn't have much to fear. But whatever, I'm at minus two. Um, anyway, Gengar goes for the Shadow Ball. I send out my Hitmon top to take it, and it hits. Um, does it, and does actually a bit more than I was expecting. Plus he gets the Spec Death drop. Um, so, he's obviously going to be faster, but I run, um, Priority Bullet Punch on here, and I know that Gengar is a freaking, um, glass cannon, it has no defenses to speak of, especially on the defensive, defensive side, but, uh, Cosmic F just doesn't have that much offensive power, um, and another Shadow Ball is going to kill me, yeah, it didn't do that much even with a crit, that was kind of crazy, but anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and send out my HCHB here with a free switch, um, and he's going to go for the Shadow Ball. It's going to hit pretty hard. I think it's going to get me down to my Sash. Um, but that's okay. I've got the Sturdy. I'm not really fearing at this point. I just wanted to get off my um, yeah critical hit. So it might have mattered, might not have. Hard to say with HCHB. But anyway, I go ahead and go for the Shell Smash, which is going to double my attack. Um, I'm not sure off the top of my head whether I outspeed after this, but it doesn't matter because I was going for the Priority Aqua Jet. I was just thinking I really wanted to actually do something unlike, you know, um, Bullet Punch did on the last turn. Um, although here I have Stab, so I don't know. Anyway, here goes the here comes the Aqua Jet, and at plus two, um, considering Stab and everything, it is going to be enough to take out Gengar, and Gengar is down. So that's pretty awesome. And um, this battle is going quite nicely for me. Uh, yeah, get some leftovers recovery. He goes ahead and sends out his Staraptor, and I foolishly was thinking that I'd be faster here. Um, so I went for Waterfall or Rock... Not Waterfall. I went for, um, Rock Slide, I think. Um, but he was faster, and he manages to take me out, um, with no recoil to speak of on his end. Um, and so now I have to send out my Tachikoma, and, um, just... I guess it's probably Scarf, so I know that a Brave Bird isn't going to do too much to me. Um... And I'm going to just revenge kill it with a Volt Switch. And that is his last Pokemon, so that is, this is going to be good game. Um, so yeah, a little bit of recoil there, and here comes the Volt Switch. Um, and you know, again, this is Specs, so it's going to be hitting a hell of a lot harder than, you know... It's going to KO, there was no doubt in my mind. So anyway, more Georgian, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Good game, uh, it was a really awesome battle, and if you ever want to battle again, you're one of the coolest people I've ever met, uh, Pokemon related. So just send me a PM and we'll battle again. Uh, other folks, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long, and peace out.